dudes and dudettes. How are you guys? This is Chazzy and welcome back to The Mixer, the segment on this channel where I give you guys all sorts of detailed analyses from all walks of life, you know? I'll talk about people, places, animals, food, sports, the whole nine yards, hence why it's called The Mixer in the first place, you know? And today's video is actually inspired by this game that I started playing recently on my channel called Forza Horizon 5. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of it, you know? Quite possibly one of the greatest racing games of all time, but maybe I'm just pulling for Forza at this point. I know I haven't really played too many racing games outside of that and Need for Speed across my lifetime you know so anyway now here's the thing guys I'm going to be addressing a topic on this channel that I actually have hinted at and even outright said in other videos in the past you know which is that I recently got my freaking driver's license you know in case the the, the title and thumbnail didn't already give it away although I'm sure it kind of did you know so that actually happened recently and it felt really good but now uh, there are a few other details that you know you guys might not have known because I don't think I've actually covered it here on YouTube I've actually you know, talked about it on Twitter you know and today I'm going to be dedicating an entire video just to that you know now me getting a driver's license is a very big deal because for many years I had been scared of getting behind the wheel of a car ever since I was a teenager you know because I've always heard stories about my family members getting into accidents you know especially on my mother's side of the family my mother's side and my father's side are very divided on this you know because my mom comes from a very long line of very bad or very unlucky drivers you know so many accidents on her side of the family you know with cars motorcycles even a jet ski once you know my uncles and cousins always getting into trouble and accidents you know and on my father's side it was the the opposite and you know, all a very long line of very good drivers you know so it was very very strange you know, it was really weird, you know, because like uh, nobody there ever got into any accidents. So my father is much more confident behind the wheel than my mom, you know. They're both very good drivers, but my father has always been a little bit more, you know, uh, he, he's never gotten into any accident. You know? And my mom, I think, did when I was a kid, you know, but that's not the point. The point is that I was very scared when I was going to get my license, you know, to discover which one of their genes I was going to inherit, you know, which one I was going to be more like, you know, and which one I was going to, uh, I don't know, get motivated by, I don't know. But I have been driving around with my dad a little bit here and there with him next to me so he says that I'm a good driver he says that I'm inheriting his genes but I also get very nervous and scared and that actually harkens back to my mother so I really don't know which one I'm going to be more like you know it kind of scares me but I gotta get out there man you know uh, coming up on 30 years of age I had to get my license it was already past time for it you know so it just felt really good but there was a very long and painful process behind and I'm going to be covering that in today's video you know if you guys notice that the video quality looks a little different it's because I had to reduce the frame rate you know not the frame rate but the video quality because this camera has been acting up lately so maybe just maybe this isn't going to be in full 4k hd my camera isn't even 4k but you guys get the point so just bear with me here if you guys notice some changes in the next few vlogs it's because i gotta try to you know make my channel survive because otherwise this camera is not going to collaborate with me so anyway let's continue with the concept vlog right just in case you're new here, you know this is your first video on my channel, you know you're kind of unfamiliar with the terminology here. Concept vlog is a, is a term that I coined here which refers to a video where I just come and talk to you guys. You know there's no videos or photos, you know. It's literally just me in the background music here and that's what this video today is. So now, now when I first began my driving lessons, you know they were actually the theoretical ones. There was a little bit of a, a sales, like a, a discount that I, was, that I was able to take advantage of, you know. So then... Uh, I started to take the classes within the classroom under the theoretical side of things, but unfortunately they were four hours each day, Mondays through Fridays, so I kind of had very little free time to do the things that I wanted to, so it really took a toll on me, you know, it was very, very painful for a while because I couldn't do my hobbies, so I didn't really like it too much in that sense, so I was actually kind of depressed for a while, but still, you know, I studied a lot as much as I could, I really got into those books, man, you know, the little pamphlet that we had, I studied it, I did a few mock-up simulation tests that my dad came over and helped me with, you know, I was doing like about uh, sometimes two or three per day you know I was I was memorizing all of the questions all of the answers you know I was studying so much and you know because I really wanted to absorb as much as I could and it wasn't a very cheap thing you know getting a license here in Brazil is not cheap it's actually one of the most expensive things that a citizen can do you know so I figured that I should just go ahead and take it seriously on the day of the actual theoretical test you know I went there and I took it you know and there was actually I believe there was this aptitude exam of sorts you know yes before the actual test you know we took a little exam just to see if we were crazy I think it's called a technical exam or something of this I don't know if they have that in the US you know but anyway the point is that uh, I took it I passed it and I took the actual written test and I got it you know there were a total of 30 questions and I believe to pass you needed to answer 21 or 22 correctly you know and I answered 26 if I'm not mistaken you know 26 or 27 yeah around that there so uh, I pretty much not exactly a 
released it, but I actually did very well. And it was such a wave of relief, you know, but then came the moment to do the actual, you know, classes themselves, you know, in the car. And that's when I started to get very, very nervous. You know, the first class was almost a disaster because I was shaking so badly, but luckily my teacher was just an amazing freaking, you know, flower of a person. I know her name is Jennifer. I love her so much. I, I still have contact with her today. You know, we sort of kind of became uh, close after that, you know, because she really helped me get over my fear. She was very calm and patient, you know, and explained everything so meticulously in a way that was exactly what I needed, you know, and it helped me so much. It helped me tremendously. And I really am grateful to her, but the, there were, I think 20 classes in total, you know, and they were rare, very tough at first, you know, but because the instructor has her own set of pedals, you know, on her side of the car, you know, she would always break when she needed to, you know, and would help me kind of maintain a good speed. So I got through that. The first few classes, you know, it started to feel better and better. I started to get more confident and very slowly lose the fear that I had. It really felt good to get out on the road, you know, and just drive back and forth. Even if I was a little slow at first, you know, the freaking gear shift, this and that, everything was really crazy at first. But hey, I mean, baby steps, right? Baby steps. It felt very good. On the day of the actual exam with this really big black buff guy, you know, I was really, really freaking nervous, man, you know, but thank God I actually aced it, you know, because he gave a one big check mark, you know, I had to do all the things, the parallel parking, driving back and forth and parking, going this, you guys, if you got in your license, you know what I'm talking about, you know, and everything went well, he gave me one big check mark and said, congratulations, and just left, you know, but it was nervous because I saw people failing before me, you know, and after me, but they were, some of them were leaving crying because they, you know, it's expensive, you know, the fee to, to try, take the test again. So the fact that I passed it the first time just made me feel so good, man. Now, just to clarify, in case I haven't already mentioned it at the beginning of the video, what I have right now is actually a sneeze. <coughs> oh boy. So what I have right now is actually a driver's permit. You know, I have this thing that here in Brazil is called a permission to drive. I believe it's the same thing that you guys have in the United States, which is the driver's permit or the learner's permit, you know? So I can drive for a year you know, but I don't necessarily need somebody by my side, you know, I can drive by myself, but if I get even one fine, I get my license taken away. So that's why I've been taking it easy, driving just around town with my dad next to me, you know, here and there. Sometimes I'll go to his house and back, you know, down to the center and back, you know, very rarely will I go to another city and come back, you know, but that's just how it is, you know. I. It's not, I'm not a normal person who got a license and now he wants to drive everywhere. I'm a person who was afraid of driving for many years, you know? So I really feel like taking it easy is the best course of action for me right now, you know? And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to take it slowly, you know? I mean, I was actually hoping to record a video driving and, and insert here and show you guys. That was actually why it took so long for me to record this vlog here, you know? But this, it, it turned into a concept vlog because the opportunities for me to, to film myself driving are very, very few and far between, you know? So, uh, um, you know, I've already recorded other videos in the past talking about how, how, how much I was afraid of driving. Now it's kind of funny how I have one talking about how I got my license, you know? It's kind of funny how that works and how Forza inspired me to do this video. Now, what does this mean for me as a person? Obviously, it makes me more independent, you know? And I actually do have a car for me to drive. You know, I, I recorded this video some years ago. It's called, I bought a car but can't drive it. If you guys want to watch it, you know, it was back when my channel was a little different, you know, a little bit more cringy. So, but if you guys want to go check it out, that's fine, you know? It's uh, explaining how my my parents bought a new car under my name so in this country here legally the car belongs to me I can say it's my car and I could never drive it and now that I got my license it all just came full circle now I have a car and can drive it you know it's literally my car my white Chevy you know Chevrolet Onyx I think that's what it's called I don't even know what my damn car is called man I suck at cars okay I'm only good at them in Forza and even then I just you know I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time but it feels good man it feels good to have a little bit more sense of liberty I live by myself I pay my own bills, you know, but now if I can just you know, once I get more confidence and maybe grab a car of my own, it's gonna feel really good to go back and forth, you know, never having to depend on a goddamn bus again. Oh, I hate buses so much. Hey, everybody. Okay, so anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap this up here, guys. There really is nothing else that I can say. You know, I got my license, I'm happy. I can't show it here, you know, because it's an official document, you know, it's a permission, you know. It is still a driver's license, you know, but it's more like a permission. So I can say I have my license, you know, even though it's just I have to wait out this year of like probation so I can get the official one, you know. And a small little disclaimer here at the end of this video here, if you made it this far, thank you if you have, you know. Uh, let me explain what's going on today and why I'm so 
unenthusiastic with this video here. I am stressed right now, really, really stressed because there's been a problem with my camera for the past few days, which is actually why I haven't been uploading as frequently as I wanted to, you know, and something's going wrong with it. I don't really know. I looked online to see when I try to record in HD, it stops recording after a few seconds, you know, sometimes a minute, sometimes 15 seconds, you know, so I had to bring down the, the video quality and make it, I believe the video quality itself is normal, but but the video has to be recorded in a, in a 1280 by 720, you know, so you guys might notice here on YouTube that the quality is a little bit inferior than what you're used to, you know, you might not be able to see it in HD, but hopefully it still works, and the important thing is that I'm able to record without the damn thing stopping, you know, so you guys, unfortunately, might have to see the next several vlogs like this until I figure out what's going on with this camera, but then again, if nothing changes, if there's not really that big of a change, I might just stick with this, because for better or for worse, it is working you know and the videos are still in pretty okay quality so the important thing is that you guys are still here with me you know and uh, I'm gonna keep giving you content now as much as I can until the end of the year because the show must go on no matter what happens you guys have no idea the BS that I deal with behind the scenes sometimes with this camera or the computer the video editor you know other factors but I'm still here man I'm still here you know and I just I'm not going to abandon you guys until I get to 900 videos that doesn't mean I'm going to abandon you after that it's just that I you know I, I'm gonna take a break after that that and you guys get what I mean. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments below. I'm sorry for such an unenthusiastic vlog, but I'm going to be trying to get more energy back as the days go on. You know, I've been a little busy following the FIFA World Cup as well, so been really crazy around here lately. Anyway, guys, if you happen to like this video, please go ahead and give it a like and also subscribe to my channel if you uh, subscribe to my channel. Holy crap, I forgot how to do my outro. If you happen to like this video, please go ahead and give it a like and also subscribe to my channel because I release videos every single day. And why I hit the notification bell too so you can know exactly what time I upload. Let me know in the comments if you have a license yourself, if you want to get one, if you're scared of driving. If not, give me some tips for how to be a better driver and not be so scared. I will be accepting all of them. And that's it, guys. <sighs> this is Chazzy signing out for now. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Drive that outro screen.